children, once again, welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. Today, we will talk about changing percent to decimals, fractions, ratios, and vice versa. To change percent to decimal, we need to follow these steps. The first one is to drop or remove the percent symbol. Second, move the decimal point two places to the left. Let us put this into examples. Let's have this example. Change 75% to decimal. The first step is to drop or remove the percent symbol. In the given 75%, we will remove the percent symbol so we will have 75 as the answer. The second step is to move the decimal point two places to the left. Since 75 is a whole number, the decimal point is after the one's digit. So let's do it. One, two. And the decimal point now is before the digit seven. Let's write zero to represent the missing whole number or let us write zero as the placeholder. Therefore, the answer is zero and seventy-five hundredths. Let's have the second example. Change 125% to decimal. As we all know, the first step is to drop or remove the percent symbol. We have 125%. If you're going to delete the percent symbol, we will have 125 as the answer. The second step is to move the decimal point two places to the left. Since 125 is a whole number, the decimal point is after the one's digit. So let us move 1, 2. The decimal point now is in between the digits 1 and 2. Therefore, the final answer is 1 and 25 hundredths. To change decimal to percent, we need to follow these steps. The first one is to move the decimal point two places to the right. The second step is to affix or write the percent symbol. Let us put this into examples. Let's have this example. Change 0 and 45 hundredths to percent. The first step is to move the decimal point two places to the right. Let's take this example, 0 and 45 hundredths. Move the decimal point two places to the right, 1, 2. Therefore, the result is 45. The second step is to affix or write the percent symbol. Let's have 45, then write the percent symbol. Therefore, the final answer is 45%. Let's have another example. Change 1 and 45 hundredths to percent. The first step is to move the decimal point two places to the right. Let's have this example of 1 and 45 hundredths. Move the decimal point two places to the right. 1, 2, and we have the result of 145. The second step is to affix or write the percent symbol. 145, then write the percent symbol, and we will have the final answer of 145%. Children, there are three ways to change fraction to percent. Let us discuss each one. The first way in changing fraction to percent if the fraction has a denominator of 100, these are the steps. First, change the fraction to decimal by moving the decimal point in the numerator two places to the left. And the second step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. Let's put this into examples. 
Let us take the example of 25 out of 100 change to percent. The first step is to change the fraction to decimal by moving the decimal point in the numerator two places to the left. So we have 25 out of 100. So we have 25. Let's move the decimal point two places to the left. And since this is a whole number, the decimal point is after the one's digit. So let's do it. One, two. The decimal point now is before the digit 2. So we have 0 and 25 hundredths as the equivalent decimal. The second step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. So we have 0 and 25 hundredths. Let's move the decimal point two places to the right. 1, 2. Then, let us affix the percent symbol. Therefore, the final answer is 25%. The second way in changing a fraction to percent if the fraction is in lowest term and whose denominator can be expressed or raised to 100. We're going to follow these steps. First, change the fraction to a fraction whose denominator is 100. How are we going to do this? Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by a number to make the denominator equal to 100. The second step is to change the fraction to decimal by moving the decimal point in the numerator two places to the left. And the third step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. Let us put this into example. Let's take this example change 3 fifths to percent. The first step is to change the fraction to a fraction whose denominator is 100. How are we going to do this? We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by a number to make the denominator equal to 100. The given fraction is 3 fifths. So let us think of a number when we are going to multiply to 5 that would give us 100 as the answer. And the number is 20. Therefore, we're going to multiply 20 over 20 to 3 fifths and that would give us the answer of 60 out of 100. The second step is to change the fraction to decimal by moving the decimal point in the numerator two places to the left. So let's have 60 out of 100. Let us move the decimal point in our numerator. And since 60 is a whole number, the decimal point is after the one's digit. So let's move it. 1, 2. The decimal point now is before the digit 6, and the equivalent decimal is 0 and 60 hundredths. The last step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. So we have 0 and 60 hundredths. Let us move the decimal point two places to the right. We have 1. 2, then we are going to affix the percent symbol and the final answer now is 60%. The third way in changing fraction to percent, if the fraction is in lowest term and whose denominator cannot be expressed and or raised to 100, these are the steps. First, change the fraction to decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator up to two decimal places. The 
next step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. Let us put this into an example. Let us take this for example, change one-third to percent. The first step is to change the fraction to decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator up to two decimal places. So let us divide 1 by 3 by following the steps in dividing a whole number and we will get the final answer of 0 and 33 hundredths. If you will notice, there is a line above the digit 3 and it is called vinculum, meaning that the digit 3 will continuously be repeated and this decimal is what we call a non-terminating decimal. The second step is to change the decimal to percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, then affix or write the percent symbol. Let's have 0 and 33 hundredths. Let's move the decimal point two places to the right. 1, 2. Then we will write or affix the percent symbol. Therefore, the final answer is 33%. Let's apply what we have learned a while ago by doing the practice exercise. Are you ready now? Let's go! Direction. Complete the table. Write the missing terms. Take note, children. You will be given a few seconds to answer each number. But if you need more time in answering, you may pause this video and click once more if you are done answering. Are you ready now? Let's proceed. The first given number is 84%. Look for the equivalent fraction, decimal, and ratio. Go! And the correct answers are 84 out of 100, 0 and 84 hundredths, 21 is to 25. The second given number is 4 out of 5. Look for the equivalent percent, decimal, and ratio. Go! And the correct answers are 80%, 0 and 80 hundredths, 4 is to 5. The third given number is 0 and 65 hundredths. Look for the equivalent percent, fraction, and ratio. Go! And the correct answers are 65%, 13 out of 20, 13 is to 20. And the last given number is 11 is to 20. Look for the equivalent percent, fraction, and decimal. Go! And the correct answers are 55%, 11 out of 20, 0 and 55 hundredths. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe in my YouTube channel. See ya!